getting their off the off of the field tonight? What happened to make it go so well? I mean, honestly, throughout the game, you know, it was a lot of up and downs. I kind of been talking about it, the consistency. But one thing I will say about this group, this entire team, is just resiliency. I mean, that's just the word of our team. You know, we've been in a lot of situations since you guys been here, since I've been here. We've been in a lot of tough games, and we usually come out on top of those games because we're battle tested. And I'm just proud of the way the team fought today. Uh, just a, a great team effort, honestly. Yeah, well, can you kind of describe your emotions when you saw him go down and you realized that he was short and the game was over? Honestly, I, it goes back to 2019 Chargers. When we got the goal line stop, uh, I think it was Wesley Willier forced to fumble, something like that. It was just incredible atmosphere, movie-like. You know what I'm saying? Like It's just one of those games where Monday night football is like the stars aligned. It was just something crazy. Uh, I know he's going to be pretty sick about it because I think he just slipped or something like that. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? Did you get a look, Kevin, at Jeff's play on that play at any point after the game or even during the play? Uh, no, nah, I mean, honestly, once I seen him go down, I was just running, running on the field. I was just so excited. Um, like I said, electric atmosphere. Um, it was definitely movie-like for sure. Why does this team seem to have such a knack in those goal line situations? This is several times over the last two or three years, like you mentioned, that it's happened. I mean, it's just something. I just think it's the way this team is built, the way the guys are built. You know, it, it wasn't pretty. I think Derek made a quote something like that. You know, it wasn't pretty, but it was beautiful. You know, I think just the way we fight. Uh, nobody ever falters. Nobody ever gets too up, too down. Uh, just one of those situations where we just continue to battle, continue to battle. Uh, and it was honestly a mess throughout the week. We kind of brought up the play in Jacksonville. We made the goal line stop, and we said, you know, if things go bad or things don't go our way this game, just remember that play. And uh, it's crazy. We got another goal line stop. You guys, during the greatest time, time yeah. have, have taken people on roller coaster rides sometimes. Like uh, the loss to the Jets seems like underachievement, right. and then rising to the occasion for a, for a game like this. How much fun is the part where you pull people back in? I mean, it's super fun. I mean, at the end of the day, we talked about just being four and two. You know, the whole week, the whole mess was about, you know, the stats, number one in the league and all that good stuff, we just talked about the only stat that matters being four and two. And um, I've talked about consistency and those type of things. Um, we obviously got a lot of stuff to clean up, but just proud of the way the guys fought tonight. Um, and we'll get those things cleaned up, but we're going to enjoy this victory tonight it for sure. It seems like you're starting to find, your, find the football a lot better this year. Is there right. something that's clicking, film study? Like what's, what's happening to make that for you? Honestly, man, just all God. I just got to give credit to God because, you know, last year I felt like I didn't play up to my standard. And, uh, Honestly, I think last year was the most important year of my career because I had a lot of growth mentally and physically on and off the field. Uh, I came into this season with a different mindset. And, um, you know, the ball's been fine to me, but at the end of the day, I just got to continue to make plays for my team. Uh, and that's what it's all about, getting Ws, doing whatever I can to help this team win ball games. What's an example of that mental growth you, you referenced? I mean, honestly, like I said, I think just this offseason, because, you know, last year, it's a ton of excuses I can make, you know, from COVID and all this other stuff. And... I just didn't feel like I was playing my best self last year. And I really took all that in and, and just grew from it. And I think just my mentality is a lot different now. Uh, it was kind of humbling a little bit. So, you know, I just give all, you know, all the glory to God because at the end of the day, you know, I don't do anything. He's doing everything. I told Kevin, David Long is out. A couple of teammates parted off, several guys ruled out. And, and what was that like on the sideline? It's kind of next man up and you guys are dealing with so much adversity. Man, it's tough. It's tough to see my guys go out. Guys are out there battling, fighting. We've dealt with a lot of injuries this year. But it also speaks to the resiliency of this team, just the way we're built. You know, when guys come in, they got to go out there and make plays. I'm pretty sure, you know, Breon, you know, gave up the play, the, the pass interference, and he almost caught the pick next time. You know, just one of those things where next man up mentality. And uh, But like I said, it's tough to see guys go down. But, you know, you know the way this league goes, man, just next man up. When you're going against an offense like that, how big was the pick? Because anytime you can turn them away on any drive, it's got to be a momentum building. No, it was incredible. Uh, I was just happy to make a play for the team, and we was able to get a touchdown. And you never know towards the end of the game how those players are going to affect the end score. And uh, like I said, I was just glad to make a play, put our team in position to score a touchdown. But, you know, at the end of the day, we gave up another play on, on, on defense. So, you know, we just got to make sure we, you know, being more complimentary uh, in those type of times. Kevin, how much of a measuring stick do you look at this just because they have been playing so well? And how much of a measuring stick do you look at this for you guys just because of how well they've been playing and how good they looked on paper coming into this game? Yeah, I mean, we're a confident bunch, you know. You know, we have, we have some up and downs this year, but we go into every single game confident that we can win every single ball game that we play. Um, I, I guess I would call it a good measuring stick, but, you know, we got the Kansas City Chiefs coming here next week. Uh, we got another big ball game coming up, so we're going to have to get right, uh, get the guys healthy and go out there and play and go win another ball game. You know, I just kind of felt like, you know, guys were scrambling a little bit. Uh, we was trying to get the call from the sidelines. So, 
you know, in a big situation like that, I mean, we had three timeouts, so I just took it upon myself to call it. And Joe said that the offense was glad Buffalo was going for it. They had that much confidence in you guys. Frank said he didn't call a timeout because he knew you guys would get the job done. How much confidence was there from you guys that he did we was literally on the field talking about defending every blade of grass. I was just kept yelling, defend every blade of grass, thinking about the Jacksonville play from last week. Like I said, just a resilient bunch of guys, man. I mean, it's not perfect. We have a lot of stuff to clean up, but at the end of the day, guys fight, and that's all you can ask for in this league.